Imagine if you opened Google Maps and discovered a hidden dead body, how would you react? This is the story of a 40-year-old man from Florida, whom we will call John. On November 7, 1997, John was last seen in a bar by himself. Around 11 p.m., he left the bar to head home. John was a responsible gentleman who didn't drink much, as he was against drunk driving. He called his fiance to tell her that he would be home in a few minutes. However, a few hours went by, and John's fiance was still waiting with no sign of him. The fiance became worried and tried calling John several times, but his mobile was out of reach. She eventually called 911, and the agents began to investigate the bar where he had last been seen, but they found no trace of John or his car. The police questioned several witnesses who had seen him that night, but no one knew where he had gone after leaving the bar. Despite the police and the family's efforts to find John's whereabouts, they never found any clues or explanations for his disappearance. In 2019, almost two decades after John's disappearance, something strange happened. A real estate appraiser from Lantana was browsing Google Earth, looking at satellite images of the neighborhood. The appraiser noticed a car partially submerged in the lake behind a house located in a residential area of Wellington. The appraiser spoke to Barry, the owner of the house, but Barry showed no interest in the discovery. He claimed he had seen nothing in that lake in the 14 months he had been living there, even when the water was low. However, the appraiser was not convinced and used his drone to fly over the lake. He was able to confirm that there was indeed a car underwater. The appraiser reported this to the county police, and on August 28, 2019, the sheriff's office removed the sunken car. The car was a 1994 Saturn, similar to John's, and contained his remains. The property was undergoing construction when it vanished, and during the search, the car was nowhere to be found. Strangely enough, the car was visible on Google Earth all the way back in 2007, yet no one had noticed it until now. Even many of the residents find it hard to believe that a car with a body would have gone unnoticed for such a long time. A police spokesperson told the media that they were unable to determine what had happened to John as he had been underwater for many years. They were also unsure how he ended up diving into the lake, which, by the way, was located 20 kilometers away from the bar where he was last seen. The only certainty was that John disappeared without a trace, and now they have finally found him. Although the discovery of John's body has provided some closure for his family, they will never know what caused him to end up at the bottom of that lake.